Test mic one two. Test mic one two. <laughs> Welcome to Kojo Shouting FM. <laughs> I know you can't truth, nothing but the truth. What I said, you need to just shout in the head is big for a reason. Little Dura could tripping out, tripping my Boston analytics. And what most importantly, most importantly, the head is big for a reason. As I said, this is could you shout in FM 99.85.85% of the populations. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but it is what it is. Now, um, this hour of the day was supposed to come to you yesterday, but I was sick, but I'm okay now. Yeah, I had some issue with my 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 teeth, so I went to do some surgical analysis, but they fixed it for me, so I'm okay. Now, Captain Smart is in the news, you know, and you know Captain Smart works for ABN Angel Broadcasting Network. Um, he's the head of operations, uh, which is owned by Dr. Kweku Aten. Yes. Now, yesterday it was in the news that um, he's been suspended um from from radio you know he hosts this morning show on angel fm and he has an episode or a section on the on the on the on the show or in the father also then he just it be fires it's, it's like country man songo but this one with just social topic you understand he he did blast politicians left right center so yesterday uh franklin kujo who is um the head of a policy think tank, I think Emani Ghana, posted this on his Facebook page saying, say, I had a worrying conversation moments ago. Captain Smart's boss has allegedly asked him to go off her for a while as a result of undue pressure that has been piled on him by high-ranking officials in government. Captain Smart's crime allegedly is that his usual critical commentary on national affairs is making government unpopular. Really? I hope it is not some overzealous politicians who made those calls. Either way, it paints it paints a gravely intolerant picture. Fix it now. <laughs> so that is um, what Franklin Kujo, who happens to be the head of Imani Ghana, a policy think tank in Ghana, posted on his Facebook. So this was how the news was broke on social media. And yes, um, later on in the day, the general manager at ABN, uh, Father Dixon, oh, yeah. is it Kujo Dixon? Sorry, it's not Father Dixon. Kujo Dixon. Um, also came to confirm the fact that um, your man has been suspended of him. Now, listen to what he said. Aha, I say, oh, my, we be crazy, I'm going to go to the Facebook. Say, you say, Captain Smart. Aha, aha, aha. What I can say, I'm buying, I'm going to go to the Facebook. I'm going to go to the Facebook. I'm going to go to the Facebook. And think of four ebusas and Ukraine woman, and none of pencil a prophet Nigel Gazi, and so a Bahamo said no one named Captain Smart a book appointment. Yeah, for any better call by a let's say we know how to be because one can make a channel. Uh, dear woman, say I know Craig, uh, yeah, a Jumeura, I suspended Captain Smart. Na Nina said, or say, or Castle Mutia. And yes, they are buying yet, and 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 Prophet and uh, Niger Gazi, mm -hmm. and so a buy now or shall I say, or ne Captain Smart a book appointment. Or buy na or henna, or better answer is you in hope. Now, yeah, yeah, suspended. No, I yap so for the yapa. Solid. So, according to the, the video and whatever conversation that is happening right now, the pressure came from above. And according to whatever what the conversation people are having on social media, no, um, I say he's making the government unpopular. And um, mm -hmm. Dr. Koko, I think too, um, I'm not going to say say he's MPP man or NDC. I don't know, but you who know his daughter is an NPP MP. You understand? So obviously, you know his political affiliation. This is not a matter of me being sinister or anything. You people know his political affiliation and all those things. So all these things have happened. And the general manager has come out uh, to say, say yes, he has confirmed, said, of course, your man has been suspended for one month. So he's supposed to sit in the house for one month. 
and when the the, 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 the tide subsides now, it comes down, um, he will come back on, on air, you understand? And this has brought about the culture of silence conversation that was raised by Mr. Uh, Mr. Sam Jonah in that speech that he gave, what he has said. Now, the conversation out there is that the government is stifling people who are trying to stand up, who are trying to criticize, who are trying to make sure say, right things are done in the society. And once, 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 once you are critical of the government, your voice is stifled. That is what the conversation is on social media. They, they talk about. See, once you you they won't attack, you won't make the, you know we say attack. Once you they won't you won't do the government in top. You won't make the government do the things, the right things. You did they bash them and things. You know? They will find ways and means to make sure you say you are stifled. That is the conversation on social media. I'm not saying that that is what is happening, but that is the conversation on social media. But this Captain Smart issue, like, in as much as the people want to blame the government for all this, because right now the assertion out there is that the order came from above. Because uh, in an interview on, on, on Metro TV, Good Evening Ghana uh, show, which is hosted by uh, Paul Adam you know. Captain Smart said, I'll play the video, but Captain Smart said, said they called his boss, people from GRA and all those things. I don't know why GRA will call your boss to warn you that you are talking too much. What has GRA got to do with? I don't understand the link. Captain, praise God, I will leave. I come from the because I am not a lazy person. Yes, my brain works, Papa. And he, and I'm afraid dog. Dog is quick cutting. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. It's a Crawford friend friend who are buying the church on the letters from Ghana Revenue Authority, GRE for Tata. No, Nina is because a semi casado. I'm saying, ah, GRE for Tata and so on. Do you want to see Well, I don't know. These are the things okay. he said. That's what he said. Yes. All because I see Captain Smart Cassandra. Yes. I'm saying, I then not see you. You catch them and say, Me, me say, service, 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 service. Nana, I don't know, Dr. Baumi, I need a lunch, I'm at any IGP. I'm going to get me for. Now, I'm saying, ah, on air. No, see, yes, you said it on air. I'm so penny. Me, to me, I can be beer, we are saying. But to go to that extent, to say that the president of the land, the vice, the IGP, and Alan Chamatin, no. If you can provide me with the evidence, I will apologize to the world and resign from your company. But your shows are recorded. I mean, they are on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. The conversation, of course, one or can say, and I'm so pressure, you know. Senne, you're poor, Juma. Of a person, car, then trim your honk a cra. Na, I didn't move joa. Pressure, I had them man on a buff for man. I'm so okay. If that is what is going to help you, because I'm just one individual. I mean, GRA, they are supposed to collect taxes, right? So, why would GRA call your boss and tell your boss to tell you that, uh, to tell you to calm down or to shut you up? You see, the whole thing is shady. The GRA element, they make the whole thing, they look shady. But then, only when I call, so call, force a call. That is what I'm saying. Say, in as much as people want to blame the government, I'm not saying they don't blame the government. Because if the pressure no come from the top, your in-boss to no go sack them or suspend them. So the pressure came from above. And, and this is what has happened. But in as much as we want to blame the government for this, we should blame the boss for, 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 for being part of the system. The, for being part of the system that uh, people are fighting against. Because listen, if the boss they value the, the radio presenter, Captain Smart, if the, bo the boss make up his mind, say, you know, go interfere in, in Captain Smart's operation. You know, he go make doing. Because Captain Smart used to do this at uh, um, Adome FM. When he was at Adom FM, when he was at Adom FM, same thing. He, whether you be NDC, MPP, or CPP, or GTV, or whatever, he go bash you. That is how he is. So this is not peculiar to a certain government. This has been done to other governments, other political parties when they were in power. So I don't see why he, I mean, his boss was, well, I mean, I mean, had to sort, I, I don't understand. 
you, his, his boss was supposed to protect him. That is what I'm saying. So his boss has become part of the system, and that is why we in as much as we people want to, you people want to, you people want to, people want to, people want to blame the government for, 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 for promoting culture of silence in quotes and all those things. Then make sure say you, you blame the boss too. Because if the come on, man, you are a private company, you have employed people, you pay them, you pay their taxes, you pay their snakes. You knew what you you knew that I, I mean. Why do you think they brought Captain Smart on board? Because of that fire, fire brand uh, or fire brand brand way they get, no. So if if the owner they really, really, really they respect Captain Smart, he wouldn't have done that to him. And that is why we are supposed to see blame the government, but blame the owner too, because right now he's just part of the system. Small pressure from above into small pressure from above, you will sack your employees. Is that what you go suspend them? 30 days make you go day house. There are other polit uh, radio stations out there. I don't want to mention them because maybe they will do them at some song. But there are other radio stations out there and their bosses are affiliated to MPP and all those things. You, you see them come on air and criticize this government like nothing has happened. And their bosses don't do anything to them. You know why? Because they respect the job of the journalist. Why is this thing to the make noise, sir? Huh? And in as much as we would want to blame, uh, 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 because when you go on Twitter, people are blaming the president, blaming the uh, Kufuado, and the Kufuado culture of silence and things. The, yes, I understand the order came from above. But if 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 the Dr. Koko team they value what Captain Smart they do give up, uh, where you won't really make your man do in job without fear and all those things, without interferences and all those things. No, that suspension wasn't needed because you knew what you employed. That is what I'm saying. But the culture of silence in there, it, 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 that, why, me see, that is why I have tried my possible best not to work with mainstream media because they will post you. Here, you can't go and report me to YouTube that I am criticizing the government. No. Point to me, fuck out, call YouTube headquarters. You can't call the president or the chief executive officer of YouTube and tell him, say, because your shouting is on YouTube, criticizing my government, take him off. No. Nobody will mind you. If I'm doing what is what is within the, the community guidelines and I'm not doing anything to harm anybody and all those things, you, you can't do anything. That is why I have created all my platforms to do this. Because once, once, it, once it is mainstream media and your boss is affiliated to a political party, you can't have your peace of mind to even work. You are supposed to be working on ten hooks because, or sitting on ten hooks because, if you go and say this, they will come and say, "Say, hey, don't do this." You are, they are always policing you, so you can't even say what you want to say, and that is why I have always uh, says I'm not some mainstream media. Nah, if it's not about my show, it's lifestyle and all those things about point me yet, yeah. because the the moment they, they 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 put you in the system, you become part of them. Because when you don't, you don't. If when you don't dance to the tune of your boss, you will be sacked. And when they sack you, uba betina fi aba bajuani hashtag akombe do. And that is what is happening. This is why the pay me say this government is giving this uh, the system the, the kind of um, uh, um, or is creating the fertile grounds for people to say say they are what perpetuating what the culture of silence. And that is not right. Because you see what has happened in this issue. Eh? Captain Smart says, says the, the call came from above. Nankajia Radio, what journalists they talk on there, what body concern you about it? Ghana Revenue Authority, your job is to collect taxes. Or because he commented about taxes. People also say, he say he, in a video, he said, say, but we are born and all those things. But what is the, what is the, when you translate incompetence to key, what be the key, what, what be the meaning? Yeah, boy. Just sit down. Na fagana bisiana uba ye yabwa se se a seventy six point one per cent of our GDP. Ya catcha Mahama se wa bon me kabi me menapkaye. Me se bra wa bon we ye unprecedented bon ye. Se gana ye kaya diano a ye sixty nine point nine per cent of our GDP. That was about seventy percent of our GDP. You catch and say, "Boom, ba ba um ya." Where they are? Boom, 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 boom. 
If I competent one ball, how this thing be issued? This the, the suspension, this suspension wasn't supposed to come on. It's and you see that that's why I said Dr. Koko and team really disappoint me. He really disappoints me. You are supposed to protect your workers. I know you, yes, the company is bigger than the individuals. And Captain Smart, one thing we say, sometimes I feel like the personality attack be too much. Probably that'd be why this thing they, they won't use this thing, they won't use him as a scapegoat. You know, you are supposed to tackle the issue and leave personalities out. You can't attack people's personality like that then thing on what they are saying. So probably that one. But in the end, I feel like Dr. Kwekwoteng should have protected him. And he let him down. And that is not how... So they should set the people all over there and make them see. Also, what do I know what can be busy? That would be hard and we take do you. Yeah, because right now, you can't even criticize the government without being suspended for 30 days. You feel what I'm talking about? So the, that culture of silence, you know, whether it is coming from the top, whether it is your boss trying to do it, this is not how we are supposed to fix this country, bro. Because if you don't allow him to talk, people listen to him. His voice must be heard. This is why we are in a democratic dispensation. How are we allowing these things to happen? And that is why this is painting a negative image for the government. This is sad, bro. So in an interview, you know, uh, you know um, Paul Adomotri on uh, Metro TV interviewed um, your man in the evening and he, he said it, he confirmed it. In fact, whatever uh, Kojo Desen said about him being suspended, he confirmed, said calls came from above and his boss told him to step down for 30 days. So right now he's on, I don't know, he's, okay, he's suspended. So he's on suspension. But I feel like this is not the way. And personally, this is not an attack on anybody, but I'm disappointed in the boss, Dr. Kuku. I'm disappointed in him. This is just my take, bro. Because he could have, nah, he could have done better. He could have protected Dr. Uh, Captain Smart. Seriously. 30 day suspension. Come on, man. Just because he's criticizing the government. Anyway, that'd be the system we did inside. But if you will allow, make qualities, room we are. Wahala for us, man. My name is Kojo Sheldon. This has been your hour of the day on Kojo Sheldon FM, 99.99% FM. My phone.